Education Minister Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi patronized today an induction meeting which was organized by the Education Ministry for Public Schools principals on the project and its first phase. The minister said that the digital empowerment in education project will be extended in the next academic year to include 12 new intermediate schools. He added that the move will bring the number of schools applying the project to 17 boys and girls intermediate schools. The Education Minister said the political leadership in Bahrain believes that education which copes with contemporary changes in the main pillar of sustainable human development. He added that many development projects have been adopted throughout the history of education in Bahrain coming up with the digital empowerment in education project. He noted that, that the project is in line with the royal directives to integrate technology in education and is an extension of His Majesty King Hamad schools of the future project. Dr. Al Naimi said the education ministry is going ahead with outfitting new schools applying the project with the needed equipment while providing quality specialized training for the educational and administrative staff. He also lauded the tremendous efforts of the public and private schools supporting the projects. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, honored the winners of the 120-kilometer endurance race in the presence of brief president, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser honored the Cavaliers Mayouf Al Ramehi, Mohammed Al Shimri. Al Maqdad Janahi for achieving the first, the second, and the third titles, respectively. His Highness lauded the uh, Night Ride Championship and hailed the large participation and the positive outcome of the race, which reflects the significant level reached by the kingdom in this field. He also congratulated the winners and expressed appreciation to the organizing committee's contributions and efforts for achieving success for the event. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. Bahrain Sina Munferidi has claimed an impressive bronze medal at the Abu Dhabi World Professional Jiu-Jitsu Championship held recently there at the Khalifa Sports City under the patronage of Abu Dhabi Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Commenting on the victory, President of the Bahrain Self-Defense Federation Ahmed Abdul Aziz Al Khayyad extended his sincere congratulations to the Kingdom's leadership as well to His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, Supreme Council for Youth and Sport Chairman, and the Bahrain Olympic Committee President, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, whose support for the Jiu Jitsu sport, he said, has yielded fruitful results. He praised the outstanding performance of Sina Munferdi, which enabled him to clinch the bronze medal of the 62 kilogram category of the male master black belt. Sheikh Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa claimed a win each in yesterday's seventh round of the 2015-16. BIC 2000cc challenge held at the Bahrain International Circuit in Sakhir. Sheikh Hamad won the day's first race while Sheikh Salman followed with a win in the second. Sheikh Salman Al Khalifa in a Honda Civic leads the standing with 239 points. Sheikh Salman has claimed seven victories from 12 races held today. Both sprints were held over 12 laps around BIC's 2.5 kilometer inner track. The meeting took place as part of the BIC National Racing Festival. Also this weekend, Bahrain International Circuit hosted the pilot round of Drag Fight. The event attracted participants from across the GCC and was held with support from Drag 965. The event is the first rolling drag race in the region. Drag Fight is a rolling drag race um, event, the first time happening in Bahrain. It's sponsored by uh, Drag 965 team. Uh, we 
created this event to try and take more of the street racing off the street and to the state of the art facility that we've had. We've had a very good response uh, from people coming from all over the GCC, from Saudi and Kuwait namely, and hopefully we'll have uh, more people from other countries in the GCC in the next uh, rounds. And it's been, it's been amazing.